Okay, Ness Robin. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, all I can say is Ness has a he has the side magnet, so that's always something Robin has to be, you know, worry about. Also, uh, I don't think Ness is going to super struggle to edge guard this character either. Luckily, Robin has some decent range though, and usually disjoints give Ness a hard time. Yeah. Nice, nice to see the arc fire. He's going to be using that a lot to try to mix up his recovery. Because uh, otherwise, yeah, Ness can throw the yo yo forward air, even using the up B2 as well. As yeah, you can see right here, nice, nice setup, man. That up B popped him perfectly <laughs> next to Ness for that to work. <laughs> Once again, the standoff here because they know what it means to commit out of shield at times. Especially with the way PK Chris has kind of been calling him out a little bit here. Nice on the jab, but unfortunately unable to connect all hits. There's the back throw. I like that from Inharmonia. Get Ness off the oh. stage and try to get an edge guard. Wow. Great oh, he, he saved him too because he actually would have died from there. The PK Thunder hit the wall. Interesting. Interesting recovery from PK Chris. Oh, nice snipe with the PK fire. Yeah, this yo-yo is oh. very, very good. Very, very good at snacking Robin's recovery. Unfortunately, he's gonna just completely run out of resources off stage. Great combo. Really good use of the side magnet right here. He's not really using it so much to absorb the projectiles as much as, to, you know, get these combos and really mix up his movement. Correct. And it's really good too that even men in Armonia understands that and still goes for PK Thunder at really good opportunities. Just to see that if it does hit PK Chris, it forces him to hold shield and they can get a confirm afterwards with a grab. A couple swings PK of the Chris. bat, but a miss. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna die, but like, I don't know what that uh, Thoron was supposed to be. Same. Almost looked like a miss input. Yeah, he's using the forward smash to see if he can catch him throwing a projectile to can reflect it. But uh, Inharmonia is not giving that to him just yet. Down smash? Ooh. Yep. Man, that arc fire just covered the ledge perfectly. Oh, missed the tech, but no roll in. Tough for Inharmonia here, yep. Oh. Man, that PK Thunder just like pops him right next to Ness so consistently. Oh, great DI on Armonia too. That anybody else would have lost the stock if they didn't die properly. Nope, no Thoron tech chase, unfortunately for Inharmonia, but see what PK Crest can do to Edge Guard. Yep, and the PK Fire oh, kind of catch God. PK Crest at the last second. Yeah, the Arc Fire has been really good for him to recover. Oh, okay, this is getting kind of scary. The Eleven Sword is pretty low though. Oh wait, never mind, it's back now. <laughs> it regenerates <laughs> and, really fast in this game. And it's funny too, because normally you would see people- Oh! oh he didn't know the range of that PK Flash? Or he got caught mashing a button? Both, both, both. He didn't know the range of PK Flash, but he, after going for Arc Fire, there is end lag after it, and the cooldown is pretty significant at times. So it's tough spot to be in. And it's good too because you see PK Chris go for that situation just because if you don't hold shield or move away from the ledge, you will get caught and you'll take anywhere from like 20 to 24%. Not too sure on how much percent you take, but dang. Good stuff to PK Chris on that one. PK flash buffs. <laughs> the PK flash is very good in this game. Which is interesting because we don't really see it used much in the uh, other Smash games from this, but very viable in uh, Ultimate. Either to let stall off stage or just even just catch early kills, people slipping. So uh, back on Battlefield again. Let's see what Inharmonious adaptation is going to be on this stage. I really like how uh, aggressive PK Chris plays. 
with Ness. He really gets in Robin's face and doesn't give her much time to set up. The names yeah. are backwards, by the way. Sorry, sorry. I, I just realized that right now. Oh, that's... Man, he's really been snagging that recovery with arc fire every time. Every time he tries to go low, he gets hit by that arc fire. Back throw, Back throw nice. It. Stage control here. Tries to set up a big play, and there I it is. Force him to go low, and then just hit him before he can even start his up B. Very, yep. very good edge guard on this. Exactly. And it's specifically because PK Chris is also oh. going for a PK flash. Now, this Ness is, uh, he likes to fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I can say. Oh, a big oh, combo here. That would have been so big, too, because you know you can confirm that to an up air. I don't like him going for the second arc fire, because he could just get the free aerial. He's been missing it a lot. Hey, man, he, dropped a lot of, he dropped a lot of uh, damage there. Sometimes the real that. W, man, is the Twitter clip you make where it gets all the follows. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That was good too because look at the situation. It was pretty much PK Chris using Psy Magnet and that caused him to go for a late back air, giving an Armelia time to make the recovery. Per good trade. Yep. Oh Man. my god. Bad what BI. Bad DI on that floor there. We're gonna take it. In Armonia, man, he's just really doing a good job of switching up his style here, but... Oh, wow, great get of attack. Almost time to Force Master reflect the Thoron. He's a little bit too slow. And, uh, yet to see any of the side magnet come into play as far as absorption goes. Surprisingly. And, and it's the way that an Armonia is kind of mixing up how aggressive he is with each projectile, but that forward air, I'm sorry, up air, able to poke, poke through. You know, in PK Crest, a little bit of a breather in terms of stock here, but in Armonia still unleashing the full fury here of that Levin's And he's not letting Ness land right now. Watch out for the Thoron. Oh. All right. <laughs> you, you told him. I can't. I don't know what else to say there. You told him. I got your back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. He was put in a really bad spot where he, he was forced to air dodge almost. Yeah. So. But if you, if you look at the situation, like I talked about it, and Armonia is so smart with every single projectile he's been going for because he kind of does him progressively to a situation where he catches Ness on the slip up of not going for side magnet. And even in yeah. that situation where he, uh, where PK Chris is off stage, and Armonia knew it's better to let him heal and I come back on the stage than to lose a whole stock just because I was a little bit too greedy. That was a really excellent play from an Armonia. Yeah. PK Crystal's still excellently smart because he's always going for that PK flash, trying to let our Armonia know if you want to stay at the ledge, you either hold shield or you hold the 24% you might actually take. Or 25. I actually don't even know anymore. If anybody knows the percent for PK flash, please let me know in the chat. Game three, though. Really important game here because we're now going to town and city and it puts somebody at set point on the winner on this. Smash. Oh, smash. Oh, smash. Yep, I like this stage for Ness. Especially the way that he gave Chris plays Ness. Very, very aggressive. Might be dead, though. Yep, he's dead. A little really bit too quick. aggressive. Really, <laughs> quick, really quick on the chat there. We do start at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's West Coast, West Coast time. Yeah, so I... At 10? No, yeah. we don't start at 7. We start at, like, 5-something, right? Oh, Bracket starts to... bracket starts at five, stream starts at seven. I'm sorry guys. Yeah. So uh five PM Pacific Center time. Seven PM Pacific Center time for, for uh, So yeah, ten PM Eastern, you're definitely right guys. Wanted to give you guys the info on that. Since I see a lot of East Coast people asking. Anyways, back to the match here. PK Chris one twenty to Anharmonia in the middle of our talking. Yeah, that was a kinda of rough SD for PK Chris. Anharmonia pretty much took complete control of the game after that and uh PA Chris isn't really stopping you know this aggressive play really Intermonious you know he's just hanging back like letting Ness swing getting his free openings when he can almost gets that punish yeah I would have been super big with that throw on back throw yeah. great DI still living of course 109 Nice, look at that trade. See, I'd rather let him heal, but I get to come back on the stage, hold the whole stock. That is an excellent trade. Yeah, not not too bad for Anharmonia. Especially with, you know, the lead he has. He, I don't think he minds letting Ness heal right now. Definitely. Great recovery. But there's the up air finally. I feel like Pika Chris is still going to try to, you know, rush Robin down right now. Play it as aggressive as he can. 
Yeah, you 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 can definitely see you kind of can't give Anharmonia too much space to breathe because the minute he does, he's looking for it to set up. There's the back air to kind of cover the cross up on that situation. Yeah, nice chill pressure. See, and every time he goes for Arc Thunder, it's at such a close range that like it gives PK Chris a shield to hold. Oh my, oh, that was nice. close. That was close. That would have been insane Thor on setup. That would have Off been another speed. clip of the day. Okay. At the ledge again. Oh, great use of that forward air to clank with the down smash. That was actually such good spacing. Oh, great oh, back man. Air too. Yeah, his recoveries are so good. Ooh. Wow. Destroyed off stage. Unfortunately, that's really hard to tech. But uh, yeah, in, in Harmonia, he's really tricky and disadvantaged. It's not easy to keep this guy in a bad spot. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. We saw how good he is at trading. You know what? I'll let you heal that little 10%, but I get to come back and maintain stock lead? That's worthy of a trade. Worthy of a trade indeed. And I think that Elwyn killed because it might have been the first early hitbox, which is the spike spike hitbox, which definitely allowed Enharmonia to kind of push that lead there. Not too sure if that was the spike hitbox or not. Yes, this is best of five. Yep. Best of five, best of five. I mean, you gotta say to yourself, though, like, that match might have gone a lot differently if PK Chris didn't basically give him a free stock at zero almost on the yeah. first stock. Most definitely agreed. And I've said it a, buzz a dozen times already the way that Enharmonia just loves to go for those projectiles at those ranges that he does kind of mixes it up against PK Chris's side magnet, which is why you don't see him heal that much often. Even if it is to his benefit, it's more to Enharmonia's. Arc Thunder at that close range. Look, he gets to come back on the stage. Reversal? Come on, that's a big trade to have. Yeah. He's very smart about how he chooses to recover with his projectiles. Oh. No punish on the Elwin. We'll take it. <laughs> See, and now we're seeing PK Chris kind of elect to go for forward smash for the immediate reflection rather than the absorption because he knows what that means now. At this point, Enharmonia has caused PK Chris to adapt to that. And that's a little bit more to Enharmonia's benefit there. Here's the back air, 92% here. PK Chris looking for the stock here. That down smash would have been great to catch anything, but Enharmonia has, has a lot to say about that. Oh, Thoron's on line once again. He lost PK oh, fire there. Okay, okay, not gonna die, but then. PK Chris can't land, man. It's so hard versus these Robin aerials. Cover so much space. Okay. Off stage once again. Oh, nice. A little, little too low. A little too low that time. Yeah, I like that. But it's because PK Chris isn't often going for that deep forward air to edge guard. Ooh, close with the nose for Otto there. Yeah, Robin's gentleman, one of the best in the game, honestly. Really, really strong. I like that from Luxel. He says, this may be the only time I see somebody try to say that Ness is a worse character than Robin. And I agree with you here in this matchup so far. And Harmonia is playing a very powerful Robin indeed. Yeah, it's, uh, like you said, the way he's mixing up his projectile used to play around the, the side magnets, making it difficult for a PK Chris to get much starting neutral. And then you have the threat of all these Robin aerials that just kind of keep Ness out really well. Yeah. Oh no. Are we disconnecting? Did we DC? Are they having lag? Uh, Nintendo. Yep. Oh, hopefully, hopefully oh, their match contest. is fine. I hope so too. Oh, no contest. Somebody disconnected. Hold the phone, guys. Oh, PK Chris. He disconnected. Uh, Give me one what are second. we doing in this situation? Give me one second, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> 